There's no doubt that the last two years have had an immense impact on people's mental health. My mental health was, ah, it's recently been at its all-time low. And I assume it's the same for you. I assume that every few months you go through a rough patch, if not every few weeks. See, everyone I talk to, like, even if it's in a joking, like, they're just joking when they say it, they'll just be like, Ish, I just want to be happy. Or whenever you, <laughs> whenever you cast him about something, like, okay, and I, like, you just be joking with them, you'll be playing with them. Then you cast him, they'll just be like, ah, I just want to be happy, I just want to be chuffed. Like, even though they're saying it as a joke, there's always an element of truth behind that joke. See, everyone wants to be happy, but we have to realize that happiness is such a fleeting emotion. I can guarantee that you've had moments where you've been happy. Like you were like over the moon happy about whatever it was. Then literally two minutes later, two minutes later, like you're on the verge of tears, about to champs. It just shows that happiness shouldn't be the goal. Like you can't be happy all the time. See, and you can't control your happiness. You can't force yourself to be happy like when you don't want to. So why would one aim for such a fleeting emotion? See, I think what we need to, to strive for is to be grateful. Because you can control what you're grateful for. Have you ever been in a bad situation? Like, let's say something happens, like you had plans, and then you say on the bright side. Like, on the bright side, I got to save money. On the bright side, like, whatever the bright side is. That's you being grateful in the face of a terrible situation or something that you deem negative. You're still finding the ability to be grateful. And often finding that bright side will lift up your mood. Everyone can choose to be grateful. Are you choosing to be grateful? Because for a long time I wasn't choosing to be grateful. I, <laughs> I didn't rate grateful for what? Grateful for who? But if you honestly sit down and, and like look around and think about everything, you realize that you have a lot to be grateful for. You have a lot to thank God for. Ah, there's a lot to be grateful for, honestly. Look, you have to start gratitude journaling. And yes, journaling again, ah, it's gay, it's whatever, it's for, it's for dangers, it's not. It's not. If you want to improve your mental health, if you want to be happier, if you want to be more grateful, it's all great, no? <laughs> TJ! TJ! It's all gratitude journaling. And how do you gratitude journal, you may ask? Like... Gratitude journaling, the way I do it, I simply write down things I'm grateful for. I'll go in my journal and be like, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that. So just start that. Even if it's at the end of the, every week, just say things that you're grateful for. And you'll see that that will instantly improve your mood. When you're writing what you're grateful for, don't write like the, the obvious things like, I'm grateful for my father, I'm grateful for my mom, I'm grateful for my family. Because obviously you're going to be grateful for these things. Write down the small things, because when you learn to be grateful for the small things, like the pen that you'll be using to write down, or, I don't know, like the fork that you're using to eat, once you learn how to be grateful for the small things, you're automatically going to be grateful for the bigger things. It's time that you learn how to be grateful, and it's time that you practice being grateful, because practice makes permanent.